Hey everyone, Phil coming to you once again with Carcraft Classics. Today showing off this beautiful square body Chevy pickup truck. But before we get started with those details, those of you who may be watching one of my videos for the first time, this is Carcraft Classics. We're located at 321 Canton Road here in Cumming, Georgia, 30040. We're located about 30 miles north of Atlanta. The number for the shop is 470-239-4977. My name is Phil. My cell number is 770-317-1415. Feel free to text me or call with any questions that you may have. We can also be reached via email at carcraftclassics at gmail.com and be sure to visit us on the web at carcraftclassics.com so here at carcraft we're not a used car lot we search high and low mostly in the southeast for the best classic cars and trucks that we can find for our customer base and this one sure fits, fits the bill We also sell neon signs, wheel and tire packages, and some other cool novelty items. Again, be sure to check us out on the web at carcraftclassics.com. But back to this truck. This particular truck is a two-owner Georgia lifer, meaning that it has spent its entire life in Georgia. The story I was given was that this truck was owned by a gentleman that worked for GM. And this particular gentleman bought this truck while he was working at the factory here in Atlanta. And within about a year, he had the, the paint redone by the factory. Sorry about the shadows and the dark on one side, but we'll get you still shots on the website that'll show all angles in the sun clearly where you can see everything. But again, the gentleman bought this truck while he was working at General Motors here in Atlanta. Had the truck resprayed after year one. Then it was purchased a few years later, or many years, I should say, later by uh, the gentleman I bought it from. His name is John. And John took great care of this truck. Really the kind of guy that you want to buy a classic car from. One that, you know, stores it indoors, keeps up with the maintenance, replaces anything that's broken, and does simple small upgrades to the vehicle as time goes by that's john i mean he really has has coddled this truck but he's driven it as well he uh, told me about a couple trips to florida you know seven eight hour trips and uh, the truck performed great so we're really really excited to have this truck because they're really hard to find and speaking of which if you follow us on social media or on our website you know that we mostly customize these trucks. These square body pickups have gotten so popular and so valuable over the recent past. And uh, what we like to do is lower them and put our wheel and tire packages on them, customize the interior, button up whatever's going on under the hood, maybe replace the engine if necessary. But this truck, we're really excited to have because it's it's got that factory look. It's still got, it's still riding at factory height. The suspension hasn't been uh, customized. The interior is basically like factory. John did replace the seat cover, and we'll talk more about that in a moment. But from time to time, we do get customers that call and say, man, I just wish you had one that you hadn't customized. Maybe I want to do that down the line. And uh, most of the time, we don't have them in this kind of factory original condition. But we've got one now. So anybody out there that's been following us that's ready for a a clean slate to customize themselves or a truck that they can drive every day you know and they just prefer this style that factory style uh, give us a holler I'm sure this one probably won't last very long but uh, before we get started on all the details of the truck I want to just show you what we've got that goes along with it we've got a bed mat if you want one we've got some kick panels this truck came originally with a sliding rear glass John removed it and put in a brand new rear glass. 
one with the new gasket and a little trim piece of trim piece back there. I forget what that's called, but I'll show you in here in just a minute. Also, in 1976, what was the truck on the brochure for Chevrolet? It was the same one we have here. Check that out. Grecian gold and Santa Fe tan. Two-tone trucks of any year from Chevrolet are getting so, so hard to find. We also have the owner's manual and a bunch of receipts for maintenance and parts that have been replaced, like the steering box and the brake system. Uh, they did some interior work, as I mentioned before. I've got the uh, upholstery receipts on that. Uh, John kept everything, and it's so nice that I can pass that on to any prospective buyer. So just know that I have that as well. And in here, we have the sample uh, for the interior material, which was leather, uh, that was used. So we've got that for you as well. And I've got some other little pieces, knick-knack pieces, that John changed the radio out, put a much better stereo system in it. I think I've got the factory stereo. And uh, also a set of chrome rally wheels that can go with the truck if any prospective buyer is interested. So this is a 76 model. The square body style started in 1973 and it ran through 87. The 1973 through 80 models are commonly referred to as round eyes. And what people mean by that is the headlight. It's a round style headlight from 73 to 80. In 81, they went to a square headlight. So this is a round eye and being a two-tone round eye in factory condition, you know, factory original style condition, just super, super rare. So this is what I mean when I say that uh, here at CarCraft, you know, we spend a lot of our time running around this beautiful country of ours trying to find a gem, a diamond in the rough that I think my customers are going to like. This is the definition. These are so, so hard to find unmolested. And again, over the past 10 or 12 years, John has worked out all the kinks, squeaks, rattles, everything. This truck starts, runs, and drives like a dream. But let's get into it here. You can see that the radiator support shows no damage. The truck has not been in any accidents. Grill is in great shape. Sport bumpers front and rear. At the bumperettes, again, brings you back to that factory original style. Lights work. Got a new battery in here. Engine compartment is spectacular. It's got the factory original inner fenders. A beautiful painted firewall. Wires all tucked away. There's a new part there. I can see the wipers, the wiper motor. So under the hood here, we have a 350 cubic inch V8. It's not a 305, it is a 350. It's connected to a turbo 350 three-speed transmission and a 10 bolt rear end. This is a two wheel drive truck. You can see some of the tasteful upgrades that uh, John did while he owned the truck. He redid the dual exhaust and he put a new set of ceramic coated headers had those installed. It's got a nice chrome set of valve covers and matching air cleaner. Really, really a sharp presentation here. It's got a, it's a nice mix of, uh, again, factory original and some tasteful upgrades. This is a no rust truck. We've had it up in the air. Looks great underneath. Frame rails, as you can see, are in excellent rust free condition as well. So we've done some things to the truck since we got it, including this underhood insulated mat, and the AC system was removed. So we wanted to replace it and get the AC pumping ice cold, but we really wanted to focus on the factory original parts, again with it being more of a factory original truck. So that's what we did. We got the original style compressor, original lines, original style dryer, orifice tube, I mean, it, it has been converted to the more updated Freon, but again, all the parts that we could put in that were factory original, we did. It's got a newer alternator. Again, power steering truck, AC truck. It's also got disc brakes on the front with a dual master cylinder. You see the booster there. Those are power disc brakes. 
just in excellent, excellent shape. Really, really in love with this truck. Pin straight, rust free, Southern Chevrolet C10 pickup. Oh, there's that one thing I wanted to show you under here too was the steering box down there again has been replaced. You see the lines are new and the steering box itself has been replaced as well. So some of these trucks can have sloppy steering. Uh, you know, they're older. This truck is 46 years old. But this one, the steering box has been replaced, so it's going to be a little tighter than what you would normally expect from a truck this age. Look at that. Grecian gold over Santa Fe tan. So essentially is what we have is 45-year-old paint. And it is in great shape. You know, it's got its share of small scratches. It has been driven, as I mentioned. It's got some character. It's got some scars from the road. But overall, this baby is beautiful. The paint, the body is all original. Look at that thing. Pin straight, baby. Glass is in great shape. Lights work. Heat works. Air, as I mentioned, is working as well. Wipers work. Everything works. Side glass rolls up and down into door glass. No problems. Vent windows open. As I mentioned to you, the back glass has been replaced. 15-inch rally wheels. I believe they're 15 by 8. Tires have plenty of tread left, but... You know, they're probably halfway through their life. And uh, I didn't want to replace them because there's plenty of tread left, as I mentioned. But also because, you know, you guys and gals out there might have your own preference. You might have a, a certain tire you want to put on here. I don't want to put on the ones I like. And, and then you have to replace new tires. So yeah, I can replace them for you. If you want to just let me know which ones you want, we can get them installed before the truck ships out. Or we can ship it to you as is. You can enjoy it until those tires are, are worn out. And you can put a, whatever tire you want on there. Wheel opening moldings, body side trim. Everything is in great shape. Cab corners, bottoms of the doors, bottoms of the fenders. It is a Silverado. As far as the model, 76 Chevy C10 Silverado. There's that back glass. I believe this band molding has been replaced. It's in excellent shape. There's that new glass I told you about. Dual exhaust coming out the back there. Sport bumper. Tow hitch. Trim panel on the back of the tailgate is in excellent shape too. I'm telling you, this is a real diamond in the rough. The bed has scratches. It has been used. The tailgate, the bed floor, still in excellent condition. But I just want to warn you, it's got a little bit of patina. It's got a little character. It has been used. But try to find another in this greatest shape. While there are surface scratches from common use, there are no dents or dings or anything in the wheel wells or the bed floor. It is in excellent shape. Excellent shape. Seventy six Chevrolet C ten Silverado with a three fifty automatic transmission turbo three fifty ten bolt rear end all original sheet metal. John had the wheels as you can see uh, powder coated to match in the Santa Fe tan. And as I mentioned earlier, I do have another set of rally wheels that uh, that John gave me with the truck that uh, you can have and trim rings and center caps if you want them. This baby is gorgeous. 
Again, it's Grecian gold, two-tone with Santa Fe tan. Check this baby out. Mm, I just love it. And there's so few and far between that uh, had that factory stance as far as the suspension. Because the minute they get here, we chop them and drop them and do all kinds of things. There's another one in there. We've got right now a two-tone blue. It just arrived and we've already started pulling it apart. we got that black one over there for a customer in Texas. And that one's been lowered already. Just about finished with that build. But again, just a little different look. The factory original look is hard to find in this good a condition. See underneath there, the sway bar. It's got new bushings on it. John's already gone through the brakes before we got it, replaced the rotors, the pads. I think a caliper. There was definitely a, a, uh, a part I saw a receipt for on the on the rear drum brakes that was replaced you can see looking through there the exhaust is new as well so yeah while John owned it he had a lot of fun doing these you know upgrades and regular maintenance and I've got all the receipts to show that all right let's take a look at the interior just in love with this truck. Okay. Let's start with these doors. No rust at the bottom. Factory seams and folds in the middle. Doors aren't all dented up. Factory door panels. As you can see at the top, somebody's been riding with their arm hanging out the window. And it's given those door panels just the right amount of patina. The wood grain is a, a style that the C10s used back in the 70s. We did some door rubbers in addition to the stuff I showed you under the hood that we did. Needed some door seals. And one of the really nice things John did is these little door panel pockets pouches, pockets, whatever you want to call it. I really like it because, uh, you know, the vinyl stuff back in the 70s, you know, it didn't hold up that well. This is real leather. You can see these were handmade and hand-stitched, and they use this saddle color, vintage-style leather, which I absolutely love. It looks so great in here. If you look up close, you can tell that's really leather. It's not vinyl. John even had them use the factory buckles that were on the, the original seat. This is much better interior material than what came from the factory. And you can smell it sitting in the truck, that leather smell. It's got the perforated headliner. It's in great shape. No problems. Sun visors are intact. Again, the glass in the doors rolls up and down great. When I bought the truck, John had a... 14 inch smaller steering wheel he just liked driving it with that um, I had my son do light restoration to the factory steering wheel and reinstall it I just like the look better it's just personal preference gauges are all working just love the Grecian gold in here too factory original dash pad in great shape great shape no cracks no dings well, actually, it's got this small ding right here, I see. But it is in great shape. You know, these can really shrink up and crack, you know, if they're weather-beaten. And uh, obviously, this one isn't. And we got a new carpet steam cleaner tool here in the shop that I absolutely love. And my son used it when he detailed the truck. The carpet is in great shape. Not good, but great shape. In that saddle color. Get this back in here for a minute. Still a little wet to the touch. Just detailed it out yesterday. 
Again, that wood grain is part of the Silverado package for the early round eye trucks. And as far as mileage, I don't think I have documentation of how many miles the truck has. As far as on the title, I think it says exempt. But the truck, let's see if I can zoom in or out with this. There you go. You'll see it's 63,877 on the clock. And I just don't think there's any way that's 163. Uh, I believe that to be the original mileage, just based on, you know, the way the truck looks, the condition that it's in, the way it starts, runs, and drives. Love that factory steering wheel. Great job, Jace. Anyway, got the glove box open, so I don't forget to tell you about the uh, little list of factory options. It's over there. We'll get to that in just a minute. But uh, one of the other things that John did was he put in this cool retro sound stereo system. These are made to look like old stereos and have the two knobs set up. I'm happy to say that we have 98% success rate with all our patients. Our but, they, uh, but they have all the new functionality. Now obviously you see they're digital. They have Bluetooth capabilities for your, for your cell phone. Uh, you can plug your, you know, aux cords into them. So it's an old-looking stereo that fits in this application with the dual knobs, but it has all the new functionality. You can see there, there's the Bluetooth speaker sitting on the ground. Let's see if we can find a song on here. This time of day, it's usually all commercials. this baby up these square bodies doors always need a little help
that weathered look is just so perfect in here. 46 year old classic square body pickup. just ready for the road or for the farm for that matter it's like a museum piece so again if anybody wants us to customize it you can lower it you can install the wheels of your choice you sell American Racing Riddler US Mags Billet Specialties Weld Wheels We sell a whole bunch of different wheel options for this truck, but I'm kind of, I'm kind of hoping that whoever buys the truck keeps it just the way it is. This one deserves to remain in factory condition. Yes, the engine compartment's been spruced up a little bit, but nothing over the top. Still looks like it did when it left the factory back in 1976. Okay. Let's get down to the brass tacks. The asking price for this truck is $25.5. And I'm going to be pretty firm, as you would suspect after hearing me gush about it for the last 20 minutes. $25,500 for this truck. It's going to take just about every bit of that to uh, get it off out of my, uh, my shop property here. All right. If you need help with financing, we work with JJ Best Bank. If you need help with shipping, we can put it in your uh, your driveway, no problem. And any customization, as I mentioned, I can help with anything you want to do to the truck. Just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Does have a clean Georgia title. And it will be sold with those extra parts that I showed you. All right, so if you're interested in this 1976 Chevy C10 at $25,500, just give me a holler. Again, my name is Phil. I'm the owner here. My number is 770-317-1415. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll be glad to help. Thank you so very much for watching the video. I really, really appreciate it. And if it's not too much trouble, give us a thumbs up down below and maybe subscribe to our channel if you like the classic cars and trucks. Have a wonderful day. God bless America.